Hey guys, welcome, welcome. Melissa Zosky here, your Wealth and Energy Alignment Business Mentor. And I have some questions to ask you today. I know that you probably are excited to build your business and really want to get out there and start, you know, helping as many people as you can. Maybe you're feeling like you're spinning your wheels and things just aren't, you know, moving in the direction that you want. Or maybe you're moving, but it's simply way too slow. I get it. I totally get it. I've been there and some of these questions that I want to ask you will help you dial it down to why possibly your energy isn't really going in the direction connecting to and aligning with what you want to create in your life. So the first question I wanted to ask you was, well, simply, you're doing this business, right? You want to do a business. Maybe you've been doing a business for a long time and you're just not seeing the results. But the question is, what do you want? Ask yourself, what do I want? And just, I've talked about this before in other talks, making sure that you are super focused and your intention is really there on what you want. What do you want out of this? Are you doing it purely to help other people? Are you doing it because it's helping you grow at the same time? Maybe it's a little bit of both. But writing it down on a piece of paper and in your handwriting because typing it is just not as powerful as the written word and writing down what do I want I want this business but what do I want out of it what, do, what kind of business do I want to create what do I want and just start letting yourself be creatively writing that down and allowing that inspiration to really go deep with what you want um, this can be a challenge because it's, it's so, there's so many things and you can have more than one thing that you want out of this. Maybe you want to do this because you want to create more freedom for you and your family. Maybe you want this because you can be working from home or you could be, um, you know, being able to be more available for your kids' uh, programs, right? Maybe you're, you want to be able to buy more education for yourself. You know, a lot of the education that we get costs quite a bit of money, a lot of the trainings, a lot of the certifications. And so in order to continue on that path, you need to be earning an income that allows you to do that, right? So what do you want when you think of your business? Uh, when I first started, um, the main thing was, and I've talked about this on other videos and other talks as well, um, what I really wanted was to be able, I was so excited with the shifts that I saw in myself and I really wanted to start doing, practicing the energy work and helping other people heal on all levels because that's what happened for me. I was healing, I felt amazing and I just wanted to have that and be able to give that gift to other people. I was so excited about it and I was talking about it to so many people. I was like, I couldn't stop talking about it. And people were getting kind of sick of it because not everybody's into this kind of work, right? But so what I had to do was I had to make sure that I was actually um, able to find the people, find the tribe that would be interested in listening and connecting and learning similar things. Because I couldn't just keep forcing it down the people's throats that were around me just because they're around me, right? I needed to find that tribe because I was so excited about it. And I wanted to help those people that wanted to be helped. I didn't want to just try to be, you know what I'm talking about. You try to help people that don't want to be helped and you feel yucky afterward. After you've done trying so hard and they really don't want change. They don't want to help. They just want somebody to talk to. They want a sounding board. They're not in it for real change. It can make you feel drained. That's not what I wanted. I wanted change. I wanted them to see the change, to feel that change. So with that, I, I needed to step up. That's, but that was my, what I wanted. I wanted to help those people. And then after that, I then had some other things. Um, so this would go into the next question. What is my why? What is your why? Why do you want to do that? I kind of jumped ahead a little bit. What is your why that you want to do this? Like I said just a minute ago, my why was because I wanted to help other people reach that, that same end result that I had reached already. And I wanted to help them get there too. And along the way, you know, we, we are always on this journey, right? 
we're always learning and we're expanding and we're growing and we want to continue on that path. And that's part of like, you teach what you need to learn, right? Because as I'm teaching others, I'm learning new stuff. And it's so empowering. So that was part of my whys. I wanted to help other people. And I also wanted to learn more myself. So it was a beautiful thing. So the other part of is, was starting my business. What was my intention? So that's the next question. What is your intention? And my intention, again, so you can see where these kind of are all dialed in. And if you have different answers for each one of these, it's a good thing to look at to see really what is this whole thing for you. But my intention was very similar. My intention was I wanted to help. I wanted to be of service. I wanted to expand. I wanted other people to have that same feeling that I was feeling. I wanted to share that. I wanted to see them succeed. I wanted to see them healthy, vibrant, having amazing relationships. That was my intention. And um, my intention was also, you don't be afraid to think about money. I mean, a lot of people doing this type of work, this uh, spiritual or energy type work, people think, oh, you can't have it be around money. It can be around money too. I wanted to be successful so that I could have the freedom and security in my life to be able to do what I want to do. I didn't want money to be in the way of me getting out, reaching for uh, more people. I mean, money can work for you in so many different ways. It doesn't have to be all, oh, I want to go buy a yacht or, oh, I want this or I want to go buy that new car. It can be around, hey, I just want to reach a bigger audience. So I want to, I want to be able to spend some money on Facebook ads or I want to be able to go to that conference where I could really connect with like-minded people and I have to fly there and I have to stay in a hotel and you have to have money for that. So that can be part of this whole picture. It doesn't have to be you know, just one thing. It can be a, like a, a nice roll, a ball of energy of things that are going inside that you want to bring forward as your intention, as your why, as what do you want. It's beautiful. It can be a beautiful thing. So then, as you're looking at all this, as my dog is trying to escape over there, <laughs> it's part of the live streaming. If I run out of here, all of a sudden, you know why my, my dog is rolling down the stream. Um, so the next question with all of this would be, where's my energy in all this? You could have, you could like be so good at something. Like I am so good at energy testing. I really can dial it down to what generation is it your mother's side? Is it your father's side? Is it two generations, three generations, four generations back? Is it female? Is it male? Is that where this belief is rooted? This negative belief that's keeping me stuck? I am so good at that and I love it. But you can be so good at something and hate it. So your energy's not there. It's not where you should be. So that's when you need to be shifting. So when I first started this work, I started working with a lot of people that were really struggling with their health. And I love the energy part of this. I love the energy healing part of this. I love the beliefs and working with that. But the problem with what the people that I was attracting is I was attracting people that wanted to heal, but they were at that stage of desperateness, that I was their last ditch effort. And although I was excited to work with them and help them, I found that if they waited that long to get to me, a large percentage of the time, they were so far gone, I couldn't get to those good nuggets, those good clues to help them really move forward because they were already so lost. And I really wanted to reach the people that were, you know, still at that beginning phases, knew that they could heal, that their body was made to self-heal, that that your natural state is a healthy state. That's what I wanted. But I wasn't really getting those clients. And so when I was getting the clients that were at that where I was their last ditch effort, my energy was drained. I felt sad. I felt depressed afterward. So, and a lot of people have that gift where they were, they're actually, they're on for that. They want that. They can actually help those people the best because their energy is so aligned with that, that it wasn't drained, but they're actually energized. I wasn't that person. I do work with some people that are um, still with health issues because it seems like people find me, even though I'm more of into the business side of things and entrepreneurs, People still find me that I help and I see their numbers go from a 10 
You know, I just had a client the other day go from an eight on a scale of pain in one area of their health down to a two in a matter of weeks. That to me was so excited, exciting. But they found me because they still had that hope and faith. And they knew I could help them. They just felt it. So I worked with them. But my energy is with entrepreneurs. I love their drive, their excitement, their passion. That lights me up. So working with energy with those people and finding out their blocks, and trust me, their blocks are not connected to just their business. It's connected to their health, their relationships, their finances, all of it, how they feel about life in general. It's all connected. So when I started working with them, and I worked on one thing with them, it changed everything else. I knew that I had found what lit me up, and that's where my energy was. And that's what I want you to think about. Where is your energy? You might be trained in something you're really good at, and maybe it's just a slight shift of the people that you work with, or the company you're working for. Or maybe it's just, maybe you do something in a brick and mortar business, and maybe it's time for you to go online and do your business completely online. Whatever that is to you, look at that and go for it. And don't scatter yourself out. A lot of times people, like when I made the shift, I tried to do it all. I was like, okay, I'm working with people with relationships. I worked with people with business. I worked with people with health. I worked with people with, and I was actually really slow, even though I was doing all these things, helping and able to help so many people, because I'm, in cert I'm certified in working with people with relationships as well with healing, with physical healing, with um, business, of course. You know, all these things I'm completely capable of doing. But when I was trying to offer too many things to too many different people, nobody hears you because you're so vague, you're so general. It's like snake oil. So I had to dial it down to what I, where my energy really was, what I was passionate about, and not just being a quarter-time business coach, a quarter-time healer, you know, physical healing, a quarter-time relationships, a quarter-time blogger, whatever. I'm 100% in what I do. And then with that, that's my audience, who I speak to. And that's who finds me. Now, that doesn't shut me off from the other people. As I said before, those people still find me, which is amazing to me because I'm like, how do they go to my website and they still want to work with me on this because my energy is aligned to their type of energy. And you know, most of the time, those people are somewhat entrepreneurs. I was working with one gal um, who is a totally, she came to me for a health challenge, right? And then later, she was like, but really, I'm an entrepreneur. And I'm like, I had no idea. So we then started working at, on that for six months, getting her business built up. And it was like so cool because she was able to have it all. And that's where you look at your energy. Where are you putting your energy? So again, these questions, I want you to write these down. Ask yourself, what do I want? What is my why? Why do you want that? What is my intention? And where is my energy around this whole thing? Once you start digging a little deeper, it'll become very clear. And you're going to be able to align your energy to that. Now, you guys, you might have some resistance come up. Like I remember, I did not want to dial down... Um, all the things I was doing. I didn't want to dial it down to one thing and, and niche it down. I didn't want to do that because I felt like I was um, actually turning away a lot of business, right? I didn't want to do that. Turning away a lot of people I could help. But I had to work on my own fears around that. Fear of loss. Fear of missing out. You know, there's so many things. So I had to look a little deeper on beliefs and, and things around that. And with that, you guys, I have a great tool I'm going to post in the comments called, called the Quantum Key Method. And if you know, if you start digging a little deeper with these questions and you find that you have some beliefs or fears coming up, I want you to use the quantum key method. It's free, by the way, for now. So get it while you can, while it's free. Um, and it's a whole program. It's so rich. And it just takes a couple minutes for you to actually use the method. So once you get it down, you know, it takes a little bit, you know, it might take a half an hour to learn it and then it just takes a couple minutes for you to actually do the process. Once you find out what's keeping you stuck, just place your intention to clear that out and use the method to do that. And you're going to feel so much relief. And not just in what you think you're working on. Remember I said when you work on one thing, you work on everything. So you're working on a lot of other things as well. You might feel like, oh, geez, 
that messed up stomach that I was having, that stomach issue, that's not happening anymore. I, I've done this for a couple weeks now. And why is this? I haven't even thought about my stomach. It's because it's connected in some way. And that's the beautiful thing of energy work, especially the type of work that I do. So sign up for that and let me know what you think. And if you're stuck, if you're super stuck, you can always reach out to me and have a one-on-one -on -one session with me because I'm really good at that. I can dial it down for you and we can get you moving along a lot faster, okay? Anyway, I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. And please, as I said, write these questions down. Maybe I'll type them and put them into the comments so that that'll help you out. Write them, write them down and answer those questions and see what comes up for you, okay? I want the very best for you. And this is one of the many ways you can get there. All right, guys, you, can, you guys take care. Bye.